Hello travelers, welcome to or welcome back to Traveling Beyond Boundaries. My name is Michelle and today I want to talk to you about your options when you're cruising with a child that has diapers. Um, if you're road tripping, it's easy, you just bring the diapers with you. If you are staying at Disney or an all-inclusive, you have the option of just buying all your diapers as you go. Cruising is a little harder though because you need to bring enough on the ship to last you for the cruise. Unless you know what destinations you're going to and if they have diapers, um, if you have a child like mine who is sensitive to certain brands or you are sensitive to certain brands, like I can't do Pampers with my daughter because I have such a sense, scent sensitivity that Pampers is a no deal for me. So unless you like can handle whatever brand you can happen to find at a cruise port, you're going to need some options on what to do. So I'm going to share with you today the options that I have explored. So option number one is to bring your diapers. And so what I've done here is I've counted out how many diapers I needed based on my child and vacuum sealed them. The benefit to this is you can bring exa exactly how many you think your child will need. And if you do run out, you can always get some out of cruise port usually, but you're able to do the math a little bit better. The downside to this is, is if you're like me and you like to travel light and you do not have a big suitcase or you like to do carry on only, um, this just is not going to work. We are going on 11 night cruise plus two extra days um, pre-cruise. So we have a lot of diapers. And as you can see, my suitcase is a little full. Mind you, we're also doing Alaska. So we're bringing warmer stuff. But this was the route I wanted to go for this cruise. But I don't think I'm going to. Um, but as you can see, like it really, really is compact. So if you travel with bigger suitcases or you're traveling on a shorter cruise or you have a child that's closer to toilet training, um, this is definitely an option for you. Here is your other option. So this is what we did on our last cruise and what we're probably going to do for Alaska because as you can see, I'm fully packed. Um, anyway, so what you do is you get like one of these travel duffel bags. They're really compact and really easy, but they open up to be really big, pretty big, um, way more than you will ever need for diapers. So what you do is you, when you get to your cruise port, you buy your diapers. We're using DoorDash this time. Last time we just went to Walmart, but however you want to get your diapers, you get your diapers. Make sure that you don't buy too many. That is the downside. You might buy too many and have a whole bunch left over. Don't buy too many. Say hi. Um, it also is more expensive, like using DoorDash or Uber or whatever to get your stuff more expensive, but it's worth it to not need to, um, bring the diapers. So anyway, you pack it in this and then you just take it and bring it on the cruise ship with you. When you're all done your cruise and you have no diapers left, you just fold this back up, throw it back in your suitcase and you're good to go. So there you have it. There are two options on, well, three, cause you can drive to your cruise port and just bring them. Um, options for cruising with diapers. Um, so you can drive to your cruise port and just bring them. But if you're flying, that's not really an option. You can buy at your ports um, as you go along, which might be something that we end up doing when we do our 21-day Mediterranean. Say hi. You can vacuum seal them and bring them. Don't try to just pack them. They are way too bulky. Vacuum seal them. Get a little vacuum. Yeah, you, you think vacuum sealing is a good one? Um, the vacuum seal bags that I got, um, came with a pump, but you can also buy, there's somewhere on the floor here, there's like a little USB vacuum thing meant for these bags. So you can just get like one of these from Amazon and bring that with you and vacuum seal it, um, or bring it, like vacuum seal it before you go, like as you're flying. Anyway, I'm bringing this one with me because I vacuum sealed my winter jackets. Um... I shouldn't say winter jackets, my Alaska jackets. <laughs> um, or you can do what we're going to do and just bring handy dandy, duffel, handy dandy duffel bag. The other benefit to bringing this is, whoa, is you can just leave that in your cabin and use the diapers out of there. That's what we did when we went to Bahamas. This cruise is a little bit harder with packing just because we have warmer clothes and like right now it's rainy and it's cold and all the things. So a little harder for packing. So packing diapers in with everything else is a challenge. And that is why we are going to pick them up when we get to Vancouver. Another option is you're just super stubborn and you figure out a way to pack them in your suitcase. Yep. So say thanks for watching. Say don't forget to subscribe. 
for my fun cruise adventures. Yeah. Are you being cheeky? Are you being cheeky? Don't bite me. Don't you bite me. No. No biting. Say bye, guys. Say see you guys later. See you guys later. See you guys later. Bye, guys.